Hey guys, you're most welcome back to Rio Sanspan. In this video today, I'm going to talk about the fore and the hind limbs of the toad. Now, it may be required to describe the fore limb. Now, if I describe the fore limb, the fore limb is short and it's about half the length of the hind limb. That is one fore limb to two hind limb. Let me say the ratio is always one fore limb to two hind limb. That is one to two. And this is going to enable the specimen that is it enables the forelimb to absorb shock during landing. Remember, the toad is a, a, when it's on land, it's always leaping. Now, as the hind limb generates the propulsive force, then the forelimb should be able to land fast and they absorb the shock. The forelimb also has four digits that are going to enable the specimen to dig burrows in the ground uh, to enable the specimen to hide from predators. The forelimb also has two main regions, that is the upper arm and the forearm. You may be required to draw or to make a drawing of the forelimb. Your drawing should have a title labeling if you are required to label then also the magnification you're supposed to make your label lines to be horizontal the hind limb is long to generate sufficient propulsive force for leaping then it has five webbed digits for gripping the ground uh, so as to gain stability during leaping that is on land and also in water to enable swimming now be careful the forelimb limb has four digits whereas the hind limb has five digits then the hind limb has mainly three regions that is the thigh shank and the foot a drawing of the left hind limb of specimen k now be careful if your exam they give you the specimen or they give you this animal and they say it is specimen k or specimen x don't call it the toad or the frog now there is another question you may be required to measure the length of the fore limb and the hind limb and record the results so that you can get uh, the ratio that is the state the significance of the uh, the ratio of fore limb to hind limb now if you try to measure the length of the f the of the hind limb you may realize you are supposed to use a thread because it is folded as you use a thread now mine is having 4.7 centimeters but remember you can be required to record the length in millimeters that is you get a value you have in centimeters you multiply times 10 to get its uh, value in millimeters now it means it will be 47 millimeters now the four limb uh, if we measure mine is 2.3 now if you are if we get the ratio I'm getting one four to two hind limb and the significance of the ratio is that it enables the hind limb to generate a sufficient propulsive force for leaping or for swimming if it is in water then the fore limb is going to enable them to absorb the shock on landing 